Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're going to talk about content suitability feature, which we get on the Google Ads platform. So with this feature, guys, you are able to exclude certain content which might not fit our brand specifically. So this helps us to negate or remove such content from the from YouTube and Google Display Network. So with this, your ads are not shown on such content and that makes a positive impact on our business. Let's have a look at this, how you can make use of this feature. So once you are inside your Google Ads account, we can go to the tools section where we can go under shared library, where we can see content suitability. So this is where Google shows us the first the inventory type, which we can select from that what kind of inventory where we would like to show our ads. So there are three types, expanded, standard and limited. Standard inventory, which is mostly recommended, is a mixture of inventory of expanded and limited, wherein your ads are shown uh, to appropriately, that's appropriate for uh, most of the brands, okay? And this is where we can see that uh, we make sure that we have excluded repeated strong profanity, strong sexual content and discussion of sex. So a standard inventory is most of the time preferable for most of the businesses. Expanded inventory will be a case wherein we're trying to show our ads aggressively across various content and this can go on some sensitive content as well. Other than that, limited is going to be one type wherein we are being very restrictive on showing our ads to most of the content and here we are limiting our available inventory. So the first thing which you can do here is you can select the inventory type which you want to go ahead with in this manner and you can save it. Other than that, now comes the exclusion part that what kind of content we can exclude. So the first one is excluded sensitive content. So sensitive content around all these topics can be excluded. So you can select the ones which are going to be irrelevant for you and you can save them as well so that your ads are not shown on content related to such topic. Similarly, you have types and labels. So here you can select the content label, you can select the content type on which, which you would like to exclude where you don't want to run your ad. So you can select those options as well. Google also gives you option for content themes. So there can be various themes which might not be relevant to you and might be detrimental to your brand. So, so such themes can be clearly, we can go ahead and remove in this particular manner. Also, there is content keywords. So certain keywords, which again does not make sense for your brand or are irrelevant for your brand or can be neg have a negative impact on your brand. You can add those content keywords here, which will be excluded. And then the last one is placements. So if there are can be certain websites, YouTube channels, videos, apps, app categories, which are completely irrelevant for your business and you would never like your ads to appear on them, you can add them over here and you can exclude them. So this way, we are safeguarding our brand from our ads appearing on irrelevant and negative content on, the, on YouTube and Google Display Network. This does not work on search and shopping campaigns. So this would be really useful in terms of safeguarding our brand's image because now by using this ex exclusions, your your ads will be targeted to more relevant content on YouTube and Google Display Network. I hope this makes sense. You understand now how this works and how you can make use of this feature, which is available on our Google Ads platform. Thank you so much, guys, for listening into this session. And I will see you in the next video.